Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I am going to do a review of the famous Durian SS2 house stall. They do a durian buffet all year round, and they also do durian by the kilo. And obviously, the ones in the buffet are not the highest priced ones and the most valued ones and the most sought after ones, such as Musang King and Black Fawn. But I have been here before, and the ones in the buffet seem really good. So I'm going to give you a look around tell you a little bit about the place and then yeah we sit down get some durian and see how it is so when you come here you're going to see they've got loads of coconuts they do ones that are room temperature and also cold in there they cost a little bit more if they're cold it's all good and then as you can see here there is an abundance of durian i'm not sure of all the varieties well what varieties there are but well which ones are which either but yeah, they've got Musang King, Tracker, Janton, XO, D88, D10 and D24. And it will change around the year because obviously there's different seasons for different durians. But you are not, well you're sport for choice, should I say. You're not, you're not sport for choice. And they can even pre-pack it if you want to in smell proof containers. So you can take it away. They even have Musang King soft ice cream, which is not vegan that one, I'm vegan so I won't have any of that. And then they've got the Musang King ice cream which is like the hardest solid ice cream. They even do durian paste if you're interested in that. And yeah, just more and more durians. And we've got some little things up there to show you some of the varieties and what they look like with the names of them. Which is really, really cool. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And look, they even have more down here as well. So yeah, they're not gonna run out anytime soon. They also do these things, which they don't interest me at all. It's like ice with beans, corn, durian, and all this other strange looking stuff. As you see, they've got the coconuts there. So as you can see, there's an absolute array. And because they know I'm making a video, they wanted to fill up the whole table. So I have got so much durian to eat. As you see, it looks super soft, which is a good sign of ripeness and that wrinkliness. It just looks absolutely divine. What do you think about it? Let us know down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this. And that looks the best. Wow, she's a beauty. They see, they're all very laid out very well, very presentable. So yeah, we are looking forward to this magnificent piece. I want to tell them the varieties. Do you know them all? Does anyone know? <laughs> Do you know what varieties they are? Variety? Yeah. Do you know all? Yeah, I know. Okay, one second. So, I don't know all the varieties. So this lovely man here, who's to the side of the camera, which you might see in a minute, is going to explain to us. Did you know what this one is? This one D8? D8, yeah. D8, this one. And this one, which? This one, XO. XO. Yes. And this, this one, uh, Janto. Janto. Uh, this one, Durian Susu. Durian Susu. Yeah, this one, D24. D24. Yeah, this one, D88. D88. Yeah. This one, D15. D15. Uh, this one, Juji. 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 Uh, this one, D78. 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 Holo. Holo. So there you go. Thank you very much. So yeah, I asked one of them and they didn't know what it is, all of them, but it's really good and they've given me like so many. Some of these definitely not included in Durian Buffet, they're now making the video, but yeah, so I don't remember what they all are, but maybe you will. And the price for the buffet is just 30 ringgit. I'll convert that to USD, that's Malaysian ringgit. I'll convert it to USD in case you're interested in it, but yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. And I'm the first to try this one. And as you can see here, look! That ooey gooeyness, like <laughs> it just looks divine. Mm. Wow, perfect ripeness, super sweet, super soft, super creamy texture. Is that one super good? I'm sure they all are going to be. Let me try this next one. Mm. Oh wow, this one has got a type of like butterscotchy toffee taste to it. And it's more fattier and denser than that other one. It's a bit more like tender chicken. And then, now onto this next one here. This one is not as flavorful as the other ones. 
Definitely nowhere near as good, but I'll try another bit of it. Yeah, this one is maybe a little bit over, so it's a little bit watery. It's still good, but the other ones that I just tried made made it look like nowhere near as good. Now onto the fourth one. It's really dairy cream when you can just eat this. It's just absolutely unreal. And yeah, some of them are bitter, but I don't notice bit this much. Some people do, some people don't. But yeah, none of them are really like savory types, unlike the Monton variety in Thailand, where I normally live. That's quite a thick fatty one. Yeah, that's definitely more bitter. And it tastes way different to the others, but I can't describe to you what the taste is. It's, it's a taste of its own. I couldn't compare it to anything else that I've had before. This one is like some sort of sweet pudding. Mm, very butterscotchy. Man, these are some of the best that I've ever had in Malaysia. Mm, I love this one because it's a really big pod. Bigger pods are just way much more enjoyable to sing in the too. This one tastes like the most thickest sweet but not too sweet some of them are really strong sweet this is like a mild sweetness you to make the most thickest dairy cream possible it's not high in sugar this would be the one and then we got this really pretty big big wrinkly one here mm. Mm. <laughs> they used to get better bell wow I thought that one was creamy. This one is way, way more creamy. That was so intense for me, like so good, that I just went completely into the moment and my mind just shut off and it was like just me and that durian. I don't want to go into the other ones now because that one tastes so good. Eating high quality durian, if you're into it, it's like making love to a sweet woman. Mm. Yeah, this one is very similar to that one that said it was like cream. It's probably the, the least sweet out of all of them. Then we're on to the last one here. Mm. This one's got a slight sulfury taste to it. Definitely the most savoury. Sweet, but not very sweet at all, but very flavourful, very potent. When I do reviews for places, so I do reviews for many different restaurants and fruit places, zero is the worst, ten's the best. This is ten out of ten. I've been doing so many places around the world in the last four years of being in Asia. Sorry about the background noise. And this is by far the best durian that I have ever eaten. And it's just such a good price. It is dirt, dirt cheap. Durian in Thailand can be good in the season, but Malaysian durian is very unique and different to it. You just can't compare them. And the staff are amazing here. I really like the location. And be careful, when you search up for this place on Google Maps or some sort of maps online, it's gonna come up with many different locations. There's one near here that's named the same place. It's really small, hardly anyone goes there. It doesn't look good at all. So, so you don't get confused and go to the wrong place because I've done that before. I'll put a link down below for the, their Facebook and also the map as well. Yeah, go friend. Mm. A gift for you, Musang King. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Mm. No. Oh, the most Ooh. highly prized durian in Malaysia. Oh. And look at that deep, dark yellow orange. You can see that's an authentic Musang King of high quality. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try this, shall we? You want sure. some too? No, no. You let me eat. Real deal. This is my favorite variety in the world. It's one of the most highly prized ones, one of the most highest prized ones for obvious reasons. And that deep dark yellow is insane. And yeah, now I've got even more dirt. It just dissolves and melts in your mouth like so quick. It's like undertones of like toffee, butterscotch, These are all amazing, but Mutang King is in a league of its own. Oh my god, I don't want any of the other ones now. <laughs> it's crazy how quickly it dissolves in your mouth, like melts, like softest butter ever. Eating Mutang King just makes you think, why would I ever want to eat any other food ever again? Let us know down below in the comments section. Do you think I'm about to eat this all? So I've finished one of the smaller durians. Actually, there's no pods left in this one. I'm definitely at that point where it's just getting so intense. It's not even the fullness. I feel relatively full, but not like to the full capacity of how much food I can eat and how much food in my stomach. But it's just so much sweetness. So I'm definitely not allowed to finish all of these. And like I said, I didn't ask for all of them. So you're gonna have to take like, some back. But I'm gonna do my best to eat at least what is open and on display. 
last year he's left. Which to me seems like a mountain pool right now. Actually, that one was not fully right. So that's it. I ain't eating anymore. I can't. I will spew up everywhere. I'm sure you can understand. Especially if you haven't doing it before. So, yeah. I'm going to tell the boss he can take the rest back. Yeah, forget the ice cream, which it should be. Then, if I do, you will see the clip in a second. You don't know how happy I am to switch to these right now. So, so happy. Yeah, the boss is absolutely fine taking the rest back, so that's all good. He knew I was coming today to make the video. See, I made one here a long time ago. And he said, you make one today? Yesterday, that was. I said, no, tomorrow. And yeah, it's amazing, like, how he wanted to make it look. And got loads of durian and gave me some ones that are in the buffet. Really, really amazing. I love the staff here. Love the location. Love the durian. I've just had enough to explore about this place. Wow. He tastes way stronger to me today. 100% Moosang King ice cream. Wow. It actually tastes like it's got a slightly, like, cheesy taste to it. Five minutes later. So that is the end of this video. Don't forget, there'll be the Google Maps down below, the Facebook page, contact details if you want them. Definitely come check this place out. If you have any questions on anything in relation to this video, and anything I've talked about in it, or anything about this place, let us know down below. Or any criticisms if you have any. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't give us a thumbs down, please make sure to share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So, as always, stay fit. Stay energetic and go get those games. Peace.